Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of WordPress with Groves Prop. I'm going to explain to you something, um, the differences between a WordPress installation and um, a site at WordPress.com. And what we're going to focus on in this episode is plugins. Um, and I'm just basically going to show you how to install um, the WP Maintenance Mode plugin because uh, a lot of times when you're designing a site or working on a site, you don't want the public to see it. You only want people who have um, logins to be able to look at what you're doing. So by create, using the maintenance mode, it locks out people who aren't logged into the site. Um, and that can be very handy. The big thing that you want to look at here, um, if you'll notice, this is a site I have on WordPress.com. This is a site I have that's a WordPress installation. And what you'll notice on the difference between these two, they look a lot alike. The back ends look fairly similar. The way, a couple of clues that you can see how they're different. One is, you'll notice the one on WordPress.com uses the WordPress fave icon. The one at, that I have installed uses the web hosting icon, unless I've created my own icon. In this case, I'm, I'm using the default fave icon from Bluehost. Bluehost is one of the uh, web hosting companies that I use, um, and so by default it hosts their fave icon, and that lets me know that I'm actually on the installation. So that's the difference between these. These are hosted, an installation is hosted at your web hosting site on their server at WordPress.com. This is the WordPress software on the WordPress.com server. That's the big thing to remember. Now if you look at the menu here, as I look down here, there is no, um, no menu item for plugins. Whereas on my WordPress installation, I can add plugins. And that's the really powerful thing about uh, a hosted WordPress installation, is that it allows you to customize the installation with plugins. WordPress.com doesn't want to deal with the security headaches and the tech service nightmare that comes with plugins because plugins can be tricky to use. Um, so they limit what you can do in terms of customization. So what you want to do, the, the flip side of that is a WordPress installation is somewhat bare bones. It won't have some of the widgets that you'll be using, uh, that you're used to using in WordPress.com, and it won't have some of the capabilities that you had. You have to add those through plugins and customizations. So when you are on your WordPress installation, once you've logged in through the back end, just as you would on WordPress.com. On WordPress.com, you go to your domain slash WP admin to get the login screen. You do the same thing on here, except you enter your domain that you have and WP admin. So this domain is creativeramp.org, which is just a sandbox space that I use. And I'm going to go to my plugins and I can see what plugins I have installed. One of the things that you'll notice is you can have plugins installed that are not activated. So these ones where it says activate, that means I have to turn on the plugin to make it work. So I have several plugins that are installed but they're not active and I have one that's installed and active and it also needs to be updated. So I'll go ahead and update that one to be in good standing. And you'll notice it takes a little while for the processing to work. Give, just give it some time. You can see the little spinning dial. And then it will tell you when it's done. So in this case, the plugin is updated successfully. So in this regard, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my installed plugins. Which was not. I feel like I should be playing the Jeopardy theme song. server is working a little slowly. There we go. And we're back. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I want to add a new plugin. And this will give me a list of, of lots of plugins that are available. You can search on the plugins. Um, and what you will find is there are literally thousands of plugins to choose from. And one thing that you can do to help you choose is look at the ratings and look at how many downloads. Typically the ones that are more popular are the ones that are better. 
Um, that's not always the case, and sometimes you will find a gem that not a lot of people have downloaded. But for the most part, you want to lean towards the ones that are highly rated and have been downloaded many times. The other reason for that is typically the ones that are, have more downloads are better supported. So the developers are updating them. Because some of the plugins are developed by just volunteers or, or passionate coders. And sometimes they don't, they're just doing it when they have time and they may not support the plugin like somebody who has um, a pretty high-end plugin or a plugin that's pretty popular. So in this case, I'm going to type in maintenance mode to try and find one that will put my website into maintenance mode. And I see there are a bunch to choose from. And so, and there are various download rates and ratings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the WP maintenance mode. It's had over a million downloads. It's pretty highly rated. It has quite a few ratings. Sometimes you can be seduced by a high rating, but only three people have rated it. So I may not choose something along those lines. In this case, you have 229 reviews. That's a pretty good number of reviews. And in this case, there's a, there's a good number. Um, the only thing that makes me worried a little bit is it says untested with your version of WordPress. So that may create some issues. Um, a lot of times it won't, but that's something to consider. It doesn't have that um, because I have upgraded to the latest version of WordPress, which is WordPress 4.0. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and install. I get this successfully installed. So then I want to activate the plugin to make it live. Now what happens in this case that you want to look at? Um, plugins can often, sometimes they will create their own menu item. In this case, it didn't on the main menu, but it did create one under settings. So now I have a menu item for WP maintenance mode. I can click on it, and it will give me all of the options related to this. And it gives me lots of options and choices about what I want to do. This gives me how do I, what do I want it to say. Um, so I can customize the wording. I can add some bold facing. I can change the color. Um, just for fun, I'm going to pick a color. I'll pick blue just for fun. Save settings. And since I have it active, that means only people who have logged in can actually oops, I have to activate it. Save settings. And that means only people who are logged in can see the site. So when I click on my main site, I can see it. But if I log out of my site, which I'm going to do in this case, so I'll do that now. So I'm logging out. Now I'm not logged in anymore. So when I go back to the site, and anyone else who isn't logged into the site will get the maintenance mode screen. So you can see if you think that blue is ugly and you're like, well, boy, I made a mistake choosing that blue, you can go and customize it. But that's putting your site into maintenance mode, and that's adding a plugin. So what I encourage you to do is search around for some plugins, look for some functionality that you might uh, want, and try adding them. It's pretty painless in the early stages of your site design. You want to be careful about adding a number of plugins because it can slow your site down. So you want to be very selective about which are the right plugins to choose. Um, and you want to make sure that if you're running into problems with your site running properly, it may be a plugin issue. Sometimes plugins conflict with one another. So you want to be careful um, about that and be sure to read um, the documents that come with it to see if there are any known issues that, that can result from that. So, but the maintenance modes uh, plugins are pretty painless. And they're, they're actually pretty good to use. So if you want to add one, that's how you add it. So thanks for joining us, and we'll, we'll do more with plugins in videos to come.